we will first see a demonstration of an abnormal engine start. Start engine 2. This will be done for you. As there is no ignition, the FADEC automatically shuts off the fuel, turns off the ignition and performs a dry crank cycle. Note, the start valve is still open. After a few seconds of dry cranking, a new start is launched, as displayed on the engine warning display. Now, both igniters are powered. The fuel starts to flow. The new start has also aborted. A new message is displayed on the engine warning display. This time, the FADEC shuts the valve off once the dry crank cycle is completed and triggers the amber fault to indicate that the start sequence is aborted. The new came procedure asks the pilot flying to shut engine 2 off. We will do it for you. When the engine 2 master switch is off, the message disappears on the engine warning display and the fault light is switched off. We will assume that the procedure is complete. Let's now study some other failure cases. If the EGT exceeds a certain value, a red mark is displayed at the max achieved value and stays displayed after setting the related thrust lever below limit. The over limit mark will disappear after a new takeoff or following a maintenance action. If the EGT has exceeded a value greater than previously, the message will ask you to shut down the engine. A similar indication will be displayed in case of N1 over limit. Above the N1 max, the needle pulse is amber while the digital value remains steady green. If N1 enters the red arc area, the N1 pointer turns red and pulses while the digital value becomes steady red. A red mark is displayed at the max achieved value and stays displayed after setting the related thrust lever below limit. The over limit mark will disappear after a new takeoff or following a maintenance action. If the N1 has exceeded a value greater than previously, the message will ask you to shut down the engine. When N2 exceeds a certain value, the digital value turns steady red and a red cross appears next to it and will stay displayed when the thrust lever is set below limit. If the N2 has exceeded a value greater than previously, the message will ask you to shut down the engine. The overlimit red cross will stay displayed even if the M2 is back to the normal range. An amber check message indicates a discrepancy between the value displayed on ECAM and the real one. An appropriate ECAM warning is generated and indicates if it is N1, N2, e.g. tier fuel flow problem. Moreover, when IE, N1 or N2 parameters are degraded through a sensor fault, the last digit will be displayed dashed amber.